So now that you've been able to hear what Power Apps is and the value that it presents, let's jump right in and show you what an app is by creating one. We're going to start at this URL right here because what we're going to do is build our own sandbox environment that we can use for this whole training course. So step one, head over to this URL. So the Power Apps Community Plan is a free environment for you to use for sandboxing all of what we're going to do today. And so we, you can start right away if you have an Office 365 or a Dynamics 365 account, then you are an existing user. And you can create your individual environment here just by signing in with your Cloud Portal subscription. Right Now, if you don't have a subscription to Office 365 or Dynamics 365, then click on the Get Started Free button, and it will prompt you through the entire process of creating your new individual environment. So I'm going to click on Create an Individual Environment because I already have Office 365 credentials. So now we're going to select our country. In my case, I'm going to leave it United States and then I'm going to click Accept. So this will actually determine what region your new environment will be in based on what country you select. Now, we are actually doing all the work for you, but you need to remember something very important. This is a sandbox environment, and that's why at the top it says this is an individual environment and not meant for production use. So we don't want to use this environment for production apps. Instead, this is where we can safely play around and explore all the features of Power Apps. Our next step, now that we have our sandbox environment, is to create a database. We'll be using the database for our Hello World app today and for other exercises in this learning series. We don't need to share this with anyone, so we won't change the settings here on this page. So I'm going to go down to the common data service, which is our database schema for this environment, and click on that and click on entities. And now it will give me the option to click create database. Now I don't need to share this with anyone, so I will leave it restrict access and I will click Create My Database. Now, this is a wonderful um, database schema for cloud services because it works across all of our cloud services, Office 365, Dynamics 365, and Azure. So then we're going to wait for this to finish, and then we're already ready to make our first app. We're going to try to create a template app together Samples and template apps provide an easy way to get started making apps because we build the app for you and you decide how much customization you want to do after. In the near future, you'll be able to click on try a sample app to do this. However, today we're going to take a little longer path. We're going to use create an app, but we can get to the same place. These next two clicks that I make won't be necessary once we go live with try a sample app. But for, for today, I'm going to choose Tablet Layout. So right here under Select a Template, I'm going to click Tablet Layout. And then I'm going to select the template called Case Management. Notice it knows over here on the bottom left that I have an environment and a database, so it defaults there for data storage. So all I have to do is click Use. Now, while this is building, I'll give you a few ideas of how you can use this template. This template is a great way, way to kind of work with your customers and store follow-up activities, or to work with your peers and record what you have to follow up on. And in legal environments, everybody knows what a case is, and so does Dynamics uh, users. So you can use this template for many different reasons, not just for the typical Dynamics case. And what's wonderful about these templates is I don't have to really know Power Apps at all. It builds the entire application for me, all the fields, all the controls, and all the functions. So in the beginning, it does give you a chance to jump over into our help modules, but I'm going to skip this for now because I want to show you that, believe it or not, we've just created a fully functional app together based on the common data service as a data source. So let's click Play 
also called Preview, on our new app and see how it works. So let me just go through this. So first of all, we get this splash screen that shows us a total number of cases, and it seems that we have four active and four resolved. This sample data helps you know how to use the application. So if I click on four active cases, it brings me straight to those four active cases. And I can always click on them to uh, learn more about them because I can see the details of that case. I'm gonna go back and you'll notice here on the left, I can also change my status selection. So I can do some on-demand filtering right here without having to go back to the splash screen. So I can click on resolved and notice I have four resolved tickets. For instance, this one is resolved and this is what was done in that case. All of this sample data gives you a good idea of what you can do. You can also mark this resolved or mark it hard prior high priority or change the contact or change the status, right? Um, the database that we're using is the default database in Common Data Service. So I didn't go and edit any of the contact names or any of the customer names, but in real life, you'd wanna do that as well. Now also you can filter by severity and see all your high priorities in one click. So you can see you have a very useful app right out of the box. It just works, right? Let's go ahead and add a new case real quick. I'm going to call this Take Learning Course, and I'm going to go um, prepare the video list for new customer learning, and then that's active. Um, they actually emailed me to ask me, you know, what can I do to learn more about Power App? So it's a question, and I have to follow up by getting them a list of all the videos they should watch. This is a low, a normal priority, no big deal. And the customer's account is going to be a datum, just because I'm just using sample data. And my customer contact is gonna be Angie. Again, I would edit those entities in the database so that they reflect my customer environment. And then I'm gonna click Save. Now, I forgot something. Oh, I forgot my arrival date. So anytime you see an error, it's telling you that something's missing. And it actually will point you directly to what you're missing. So even data validation is built right into the app. And now I'm gonna click Save. And now I have five active cases and nine total cases. So you can see easily how valuable this could be to have an app like this right out of the box. As we go through this guided learning course, you'll be learning how to create apps like this from scratch. But nothing holds you back from using this app as is in your own environment. You just have to remember to save and publish so that you can try it out on your tablet de or desktop device. So to do that, I'm just going to do File, Save. And maybe I want to adjust the name. And then I'm going to save it. Now, the first time you save a newly built app, it is automatically published. But if we had made changes, we would get a prompt to publish it as well. So, in this video, we learned how to create an app in a snap using one of the many template apps available to you. Please try other template apps and discover which of them will work best for your business needs. We would also love to get your feedback on what templates you would like to see. You can put those ideas and the forum ideas on the community too. In the next video, you'll learn about other app building options outside of using templates. And I'll work you through the process of setting up your own machine for building awesome apps too. I look forward to that next video and thank you for coming to this one.